Um, so if you guys go and take a look at this one and this problem, the, the main thing is we know that there's going to be a value that's not a part of the domain, correct? If we go and take a look at this domain, remember, to any, anytime we have a rational function, we want to identify the domain. We want to find when the function is not defined. So we'd say x plus 2 equals 0, x equals negative 2. Well, guess what? When the function is not defined, that means it creates a discontinuity. Okay? So if function is not defined, that is a discontinuity. Now we just need to determine if it's a whole or how to determine if it's a whole. So the way to do that is to simplify the expression. So this is a difference of two squares x minus 2 times x plus 2. See how quickly I factor that? Didn't have to do the diamond or box thing. I quickly factored. And then we have x plus 2. Now, by using the division property, I see that the x plus 2s divide out, leave me just with the equation x minus 2. However, that give, that's my simplified expression. But what is the value that's still not defined? x still cannot equal 2, is not defined. Now, since I was able to divide out the discontinuity, I divided out the discontinuity, we call that a whole, and it's called, and it is removable. So when you can factor out your discontinuity, which in this case is at negative 2, it's called a whole. Okay. So the domain would have been negative infinity to negative 2 union negative 2 to infinity. Even though it got factored out, it's still not a part of the domain. All right. Um, the problem with talking about holes is graphing technology does not show us holes. 